YouTube. All right, um, if you can pardon the dog barking in the background there. Ended up going to uh, Lowe's this morning, got some cattle panels, as you can see. We're going to be doing um, some grape barbers with them. While I was there, I ended up uh, asking the fella what they did with their old pallets out back, and as you can see, I brought home a bunch of pallets, um, which obviously I use for a lot of things. Um, not only did they just give them to me, they uh, actually brought the forklift out back and helped me load them up and everything. So those folks at Lowe's were extremely helpful and extremely friendly. Um, one quick thing I want to point out about pallets, kind of off topic. Make sure if you're going to use them for anything that's going to come in contact with food, stuff like that. Um, make sure you get the heat treated ones. From what I understand, most of them are heat treated. You can see it says HT. Those are the heat treated pallets, um, as opposed to chemically treated that to keep them from rotting and whatnot. So you don't want some of those chemicals leaching into what you have there. So let me get this stuff unloaded and then I'm going to show you how we're gonna go about doing this um, grape arbor. It's actually a grape arbor a la Daddy Curbs, a la j, j Acres. I've seen both of them do one on their channel, and so this is going to be kind of my take on it. I'm going to do it a little bit differently in that I'm going to have it much wider, but we should uh, have good luck with it, and we'll see how that goes. So let me get this unloaded, and we'll check back. All right, this is one of the places I'm going to do the grape arbor. This is a fenced-in area with a gate that's got some fence drawn across it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that these arbors come all the way over and hit over there. Um, I am well. I know I'm going to have to use two arbors for each, or two panels rather, for each section of it because I'm a little farther apart than most of the other folks I've seen do this. So I'm going to use two of them and bend them together and tie them together kind of in the middle so they'll be high enough to walk under. I could stretch it over, but it would be so low you couldn't walk under it. And I've got four grapes back here. And so that way I'm going to have kind of two sections and I may end up putting a third one kind of in the middle just to make one long arbor walkway kind of thing. So let me get these cattle panels off of there and we'll see where we're at. And this is why I need two. You can see just uh, how low this is compared to me. I'm about six and a half feet tall. So obviously this is not a comfortable, I guess I could squat down and get under there. It's not a very comfortable um, thing to walk under. So I'm gonna have to use two of them to go together. So let's go ahead and get that started. Okay, here's the first one that actually ended up sitting lower or flatter than I'd hoped for. So what I'm actually going to do is you can see, let's get close. You can see I've got these things hog ringed in here. I'm going to grab a screwdriver and undo these hog rings and hike that up a little bit. That's still a little bit low to walk under for me. Um, here is kind of how we're fastening them in just so you can see what we're doing. We're coming over a T-post, tying it on with some fence wire and stretching across. So this is the first half of the second one. And we're gonna get that one put up real quick and see about adjusting this first one over here. So hang tight and we'll see where we're at. Okay, and here we go. We've got two arbors. I can, uh, as you can see, easily walk under them. This one, for some reason, came out a little flatter than the other one. I'm guessing it's where I have it attached to the T-post or whatever. But these grapes, I'm gonna start climbing those. Um, I actually have two more cattle panels. I was gonna put them in the middle and kind of make a constant arbor, I guess, so to speak. But for today, what I'm going to do is use those out here. <clears throat> Pardon me a sec while we walk out there. What we've got here is a mess of grapes. It's, this is kind of a 
couple of failed experiments at trying to keep them harbored, I guess, for lack of a better word. Um, neither worked. The uh, T-posts and the line going across, it works okay, but those things get heavy and starts weighing it down. So I need to find a better way to do that. And so what I'm actually going to do is put one of these arbors, or these cattle panels rather, right up underneath here and have it hold that up and secure it to the ground like that. Um, these guys are starting to get some fruit on them. I don't know if you can see that. This other one over there. I think this one's the muscadine. I think this one's concords if I remember right. <clears throat> but you can see right here we're starting to get some fruit. And there are several little bunches like that. And uh, they're as expensive as grapes can get and as good as they are, we're all about growing as many of them as we can. So I'm gonna see if I can use these couple cattle panels I have left to tame these. And we'll take a look at what those look like. And here we go. These are the ones out at the outer vineyard, I guess. You can see I've got them, um, got the trellis here. And plenty of these were just kind of hanging on this cord I had, and so we're just kind of trying to tuck them through here. And they're already looking good. They'll they'll cover this sucker up in no time. And we'll probably end up planting another grape right down there. So that we have growing both of both directions. And we'll put another hoop between the two. So we've got this one. And This one right here, this one right here is gonna take some taming. We're gonna have to um, <clears throat> retrain that to kind of come over here. We've kind of started that with some of these down low. Get some of these to come on across, little kinds of new growth and new grapes and stuff on there. So anyway, that's our grape arbor project. We've got these two out at the outer vineyard and the two up close to the house. So hopefully we'll have plenty of grapes this year and we'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe. We do appreciate it. Thanks.